Happy Valentine's Day, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. See, today's a special day. Some consider it Valentine's Day. Some might even consider it three days after Evan's birthday. Thank you. Thank you, I know. And it's a special day. You get with a significant other, someone important to you, your right hand, your mom, maybe... Not that one, scratch that one off, but it's a special day, and it made me want to cover a content creator who I've stumbled across recently who's always running away from the person who desires them the most. And that content creator goes by the name of Roy Despunu 4.0 Official on TikTok, who has been consistently, as of the past few days, maybe weeks, it's only gone viral in the past few days, been posting videos of him running for his dear life away from cannibals on an abandoned island. Well, at least that's the lore I've picked up from it so far. He speaks French, and all he really says in the videos is screams of fear and pain. So, I haven't really managed to pick up too much lore, aside from the fact that he doesn't want to be eaten alive. And other people want to eat him alive. So, I wanted to react to some of the videos in this video because I would argue they're some of the funniest things I've ever watched in my life. I don't think I've watched something funnier than this man running for his life all the time. Like, not- he just- there's so many videos of him doing this. What's going on, buddy? Listen, God. It's okay. See, Maliki Gan. Mali Senegal. Yeah! One life! This is life! Yeah! Now, this left me with a lot of questions. Where did the guy in the orange jumpsuit come from? He materialized. The guy saw him and I didn't. But anyway, what was he singing? What was that? And also, wh wh where are you? Like, where on earth are you and how did you get there? And, like, this is the first video that went viral. So my first reaction was, huh. That was, that was essentially it. That was the extent of it. Because my reaction only really got deeper once I saw more videos of this going viral. Because at first, a one viral video is kind of like, oh, okay. That happened. But when you start to see this guy in multiple occurrences running from cannibals, you start to be like, I think this guy might be in a dangerous situation. And so, let me show you the next one, which is arguably my favorite. Because it's the second one that I saw go viral, and it's the one that truly made me have to be like, What- What are you doing? D dude, why are you- How- Whatever, watch it. Now, so far, we've been able to pick up one key detail, and that is that, yes, he is indeed French. That's all I've gotten so far. I don't know what he's saying or what he's talking about, but if we have any French interpreters in chat, possibly let me know, because I am curious, because what could he be talking about? Now, the fluid coming out of that cup at first confused me, and it might have confused some of you as well, but please, please clean your dirty minds. That's a bucket of soap. At least, what I could assume, because it's not like he's carrying around shampoo and conditioner, so clearly he had soap in a bucket and mixed it with the water and he's just getting a little clean. That might even be the white stuff that's on him. It might be that he's just soapy. Or... Maybe he's a cannibal in disguise all along trying to sell the idea of us coming to his island. And he's actually getting out of his cannibal gear so he can act like he's being chased by cannibals. Is that what's actually happening? Have I uncovered the conspiracy? Probably not. It's soap. It's, it's soap. Ah! Roy! Behind you! There's an avatar! Must I say, absolutely critical miss from the man in blue behind him. You just missed one of the easiest chicken dinners you could have made in your life. You are getting eaten at the tribe meeting tonight. There is no way around it. That guy was sitting there and he wasn't even looking. That would have been the easiest chicken dinner. He could have gone and just lobbed that very dull looking stick. It looked like he just took that tr stick off a tree branch. Like that was just a, a piece of a tree. I mean, all sticks are pieces of trees. I don't know if you guys knew this, but like... What was, that was obviously so not a spear, but regardless, let's continue. I would argue I've had my fill of French men moaning for the day, but unfortunately there's more to look into here, because the video started out just like this, right? Simple stuff. 
him doing something that would happen in nature, like bathing or going to the water. He was going to the water in the other one, too. And then a cannibal or a man dressed in orange pops out of nowhere and chases him, and he screams, and then the video eventually ends. We never get to figure out if he escapes, but we can only assume he does because videos are still being posted. But in future videos, you start to see the lore start to connect. Things start to build in what I would argue is the RCU, the Roy Cinematic Universe, because there's some new ones that have come out. Let, let me show you this one where he is, he finds a body, I think, or a cloth that he missed. Just give it a look, because I, I can't make sense of it. Bonsoir, la femme, j'espère que vous allez bien. Moi, ça ne va pas. La femme, ça fait, désolé pour le silence. Ça fait trois jours que ma mère n'est pas rentrée à la maison. Ça doit... Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I, I really understood all of that. La <laughs> famille... C'est la soutane que ma mère portait. Aujourd'hui, on va finir avec quelqu'un. See, when I first saw that, I thought he had found a body. I thought he had found, like, one of his friends on the ground that was a victim of the cannibals, but I, he picks up the cloth. Now, I don't speak French, as I've made very clear, so I don't know if that's, like, the cloth of one of his friends, and it's just, like, what they left of him, or it's that he's very sad that he wasn't able to find that shirt until now. I don't know. It's all up to interpretation, I guess. Oh, c'est trop. Wait, is that- is that a phone? Wait, is he not using a phone? Do you have two phones? Do you have two phones and nothing else in nature? Call for help! Now, I don't speak French, dare I say, I don't even speak cannibal, but I can already assume that that guy did not like song number two on our buddy's playlist. What, what was that? Like, what, what did I just learn from that video? Because every video is a piece of lore, right? Like, you're learning something from each one. And from this, we get to pick up that the cannibals like some songs so much fact to the fact that they will become pacified and no longer start fighting you why is there a there's a commercial in my goddamn fire pit um what what like it, it also so are you telling me that if i'm ever on an island where there there's just cannibals everywhere there's people who want to eat me the last thing they'd want is to not eat me alive and so the first thing to do is to whip out a giant jukebox and just start playing some tunes and hoping they like it Wait, where did you even get a jukebox from? You're in the middle of an island where you need a cup with soap in it to bathe, and you have a jukebox and a second iPhone? Okay, Mr. Moneybags, build a house! Why are you being attacked by these people still? I'm gonna skip playing the rest of that video because it's just another about 30 seconds of him just screaming and running through the brush, and so there isn't much to interpret from that. But let's play the next video where the lore really starts kicking up. I don't even know how... Don't ask for context for how this video started because I have none because it's in French, but just give this a quick watch Are you talking he's talking to me? I I don't speak French. Can you guys help me? I don't I need an interpreter, please Non, j'allais venir vous chercher. Non, tu nous envoies et tu ne viens pas. Il m'avait poursuivi, sinon je vous cherchais. Bon, demandez, là, on, demandez à mes on abonnés. Va, on va te laisser là. Tu comprends non? On va te laisser là. là. Vous allez me laisser là comme now I see what's happening. They've betrayed him. They're throwing him in a pit and they're calling the cannibals to come eat him. See, there's some lore I haven't disclosed to you guys because I didn't feel like showing you another three minute long video for the sake of showing it. But in one video, he's running through the woods and he blows on a whistle and then like two of them come out and start chasing him. So clearly, whistles are a big dog whistle <laughs> for getting the cannibals attention. That pun was intended. Don't think for a second. It wasn't. <laughs> Les cousins Les cousins Les cousins I shit you not, that is where the video ends. That is the end of the video. We get to see him running up to him. We never actually get to see the cannibals make contact with our boy Roy. Truly is unfortunate though, we've lost a soldier. 
is what I would say if he was dead. He clearly survived the situation because there are more videos after this in which I will show you one more, which is my favorite, and it's the finale. It's his most recent upload. But one more comment, just really quickly. I, I had to, I didn't know where to put this in, but why did you yell? If I was in his situation and I was being buried underground and a cannibal just chased those dudes away, tuck and roll, baby. I'm acting like a turtle on the earth. What do you think I'm going to scream when you're trapped under the soil? You're... You're toast, buddy. But anyway, let's watch the final video, and it is absolutely the funniest one because it ropes all the way back to the second video I showed you earlier. La famille, ma mère m'a envoyé récupérer son gobelet que j'avais laissé dans l'eau la fois dernière. You saw that correctly. After countless episodes of this man being chased to the death by a bunch of man-eating cannibals, he has finally armed himself with a sick-ass tuxedo. Damn straight, and a machete. That. That too, that might also help. But the sick ass tuxedo does some real good damage. Just like a true Chekhov's gun, this cup came back from the first or second episode where he was chased in the water and he dropped his cleaning cup. That's the same cup in the same body of water. He's recovered it, truly ending his story. His character arc has finally been complete, I guess, because he just lays down in defeat. He's, he's finally done it. But don't worry, there's more to this video and it gets even stranger. Now, I'm gonna disregard that absolutely egregious throw from Blue yet again. Come on, dude, you absolutely suck at bringing home the dinner. But at the same time, did I just get cannibal POV? Is it- is, does he have a body cam? What, what am I looking at right now? Like, is he, hold, is he holding the camera while also throwing the spear? Like, what's gone? We've a completely new era in this content. Now, I want you guys to reason with me for a moment. If you're in a situation being chased by a cannibal and you have a machete in your hands, do you drop the machete to make sure your pants don't fall down? Or do you let them britches fall and whip out your machete to cut some bitches up? What did I just see? No wonder you're still running up to this day. Your survival instincts are in the gutter. But regardless, that is his most recent upload, and it's what I've seen since then. I looked into his channel, and <laughs> I love that his bio is just, this account is filled with mystery, and his profile picture is him in the suit, having recently run away. And it seems like some of his recent uploads have maintained the suit lore, so I guess that's his new armor that he's unlocked. But goddamn, is this content funny. This is, this is absolutely beautiful. And you can tell it's staged. I don't know if... I need to, like, take the veil up from in front of your eyes. This video is clearly staged, but it's goddamn hilarious, and I think it's beautiful. I think it's just so funny. So I'm happy to see it. I hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you have. There isn't much more to dig into this guy, clearly. It's shrouded in mystery. He's French, and I don't know what island he is on. Yet. Maybe. If I do, maybe I'll comment about it and pin it. But thank you guys for being here. Subscribe if you're new. Like the video to catch me on your homepage more often. And I am going to be hitting the road for now. You guys need to go! Celebrate your Valentine's Day! Have some nice times! Make some good memories! With yourself, maybe, I don't know. Hey, you're here to have fun. And that's what I'm going to be doing myself. So thank you guys, and as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, And, um, maybe watch your back if you're going to clean yourself in the local pond. <laughs>